Yeah, first of all, um, just uh, Coach Vanderveer uh, in his first year, uh, he, he scares me because uh, you know, he's the classiest guy. He really knows basketball. I mean, that team, he had them ready. I mean, they gave us more than what we wanted in that first half. I thought they totally out-hustled us that first half. And, um, you know, I just wanted to give him some credit. I thought he did a great job, and even right here to the end. He lost a couple kids this year, but anyway, he scares me, being a Washburn guy and having to look at him now. Plus, he's pretty big. That scares me, too. But, uh, you know, just great defensive game for us the second half and attacking the basket on the offensive end. I mean, Martin, Martin really got it going. I thought he took over the game there. And a little high screen, which I think he even called. He said, Coach, I have a little high screen there. And it really got him going, got us going. Of course, Will kind of attacked it all night. You know, Bobby hit a jumper there, drew a charge, kind of did his thing. But, uh, you know, these three guys were tremendous. I mean, they, they made me look really smart that second half. Their defense was incredible. Man, they were flying around, and, and uh, they did it. I'm really proud of them for that effort, second half. Three, uh, four turnovers, two guys. So we always talk about taking care of the ball. And, you know, playing hard. We gave up a few too many offensive rebounds, but uh, other than that, I, mean, I can't find a whole lot wrong with with these guys and the way their team played today. All right, we'll open it up for questions for both coach and players. Well, you just talked about the defense second half and the turnover you guys were able to force. And oh yeah, um, the defense in the second half was great. You know, Coach Brown and Coach Chip always harp on us. You know. Defense going to win games, you know. And Port is a good offensive group, but they don't like to play um, defense too well. So, you know, we had to put our big boy shoes on the night in the second half and kind of strap up. So, you know, it was a good team win, you know, looking forward to tomorrow. Mark, what about the offense? I mean, you guys gave a good turnover today. You really converted and had a nice run in the second half. Yeah, we did. Um, you know, it's hard to say that. We just wanted, to, me and Will, we just wanted to be aggressive toward the rack because we knew their guards weren't really able to stay in front of us. So. You know, uh, we just wanted to take over the game. We know first half we weren't really attacking that off, that often. And uh, second half we just didn't want to go out without a fight. So we attacked a little harder. Bob, it's like the turnovers you guys were able to force. I mean, you got Jared got a tie up, you did a charge, uh, some steals. You just kind of get the ball any way you could. Yeah, I mean, we knew we. Came into halftime, we were, tied, we were tied at half, and we knew we had to pick it up on D. That was the main thing. Definitely definitely rebounded, definitely on the defensive end. Uh, Martin and Wilt, they probably forced three or four turnovers right in a row there along in that stretch, and, I mean, that was huge. It got, got us some quick stops, and then we were able to convert on the offensive end, and that helped us get ahead. Uh, this is for Coach Chippen. Yeah. In the first half, you guys kind of went to a zone defense, and you were going to off with rebounds. Um, you guys went back to more of a man to man the second half and what was a smaller lineup. What was the mindset behind that? I went brain dead, probably. I mean, it got us standing, and it wasn't very smart. Now that I look at it, um, you know, we weren't in foul trouble at all. We hadn't hardly committed any fouls. But I, I think when we first went to it, we got a stop and or two, and I thought, hey, okay, let's just stay with it. But it wasn't like they were really scoring a ton. But uh, we were struggling offensively. But, you know, I just want to say this about all these guys. I mean, uh, you know, especially, you know, Will, who puts up huge numbers. I mean, he's playing as hard on the defensive end as he is on the offensive end. And I mean, that's a rarity in any level of basketball, and especially at this level of basketball. And then Martin, you know, he's made the transition. He's really working hard on the defense for us. And, of course, Bobby kind of in the middle and kind of sees everything. But, you know, what's really neat about, you know, Will's game tonight, I mean, he scored all those points, but he was just as good on the defensive end. And, you know, if I would have allowed him, like you said, to play man-to-man, -man, he probably would have been good that first half, too. So I got to stand a little bit. Probably not a wise decision. This was for Will. Um, you had a 6 6 kick guard in you. Uh, in the first half, you showed a little bit. You only had six points, but you picked up in the second half. Um, was there anything you changed at halftime going into the second half, mindset wise, or did you just keep attacking? Well, my teammates told me, you know, just keep attacking, Will. You know, that's your game. So, you know, I wanted to do a better job. You know, coach called three game, which is a driving offense for, you know, me and Martin. So, I just want to do a better job at driving the ball. You know, I knew my team was going to need me in the second half, so I had to step up. 
you know, I don't want to let these guys down. But, you know, just staying aggressive is the mindset I have to always keep, you know, avoiding charges, different things like that. So, you know, the rest of the weekend I'm going to be aggressive, so you can probably look forward to more of that. All right, I think we have time for one more question for coaching players. All right, thank you. Thank you.